Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be talking about fertilizing cymbidiums. Um, in particular, being at summertime, we're going to talk about fertilizing cymbidiums in the summer to get the best growth you can to prepare them for the fall when they're going to start putting out bloom spikes. So, what we're going to do first is mix up some fertilizer. So this one here is a 25-10-10. Now the reason we want the 25-10-10 is going to be the first number is nitrogen. This is NPK. So the nitrogen in the summertime is going to be very important for cymbidium growth. Nitrogen is going to give you all the um, energy to anything green. And being cymbidiums are putting up lots of foliage, we're going to want a high nitrogen fertilizer for the summertime. So what we're going to want to do is start with some fresh water and mix that up appropriately. I like to mix a mixture of about 200 parts per million. Um, I have the luxury of having a total dissolved solids meter which looks like this here. So I'm going to be able to see exactly how much fertilizer is in my water. For you guys you're probably just going to want to follow the directions on the fertilizer package and then actually cut it in half. So this one here for example is a half a teaspoon per gallon so I would probably start with a quarter teaspoon per gallon because you really don't know how strong it's going to be and cymbidiums and other orchids the roots can burn very easily alright we're back so we have the water in front of us we have some orchid fertilizer probably should have cleaned that out a little bit before um, before grabbing the water but it really doesn't matter that's just my greenhouse watering thing so this is the TDS meter take off the cap Turn it on, you can see it has a reading of zero parts per million. We'll stick it in here, this is the before. So, 35, 34, 31, let's see here, give it a good stir. So, it's settling at 30 parts per million, which is relatively soft, not too much, um, have anything dissolved in there. It's probably just going to be um, a little bit of calcium. So now we're going to take our orchid fertilizer and being our goal is about 200 we're going to start with a little tiny bit. Now this is a tablespoon so I just I'm using the littlest bit in there. Now I'll give that a stir. Now we'll see what um, it's come up to. So that's brought it up to 142, 135, 139. So I'm going to put a little bit more in there. Just a tiny bit. Now it's not going to be an exact science, it doesn't have to be an exact amount. And there we go. So that's close enough. We're at 236, 237. Now remember I started at 30 parts per million total dissolved solids so I have about 200 parts in there of fertilizer and that is how I mix up the fertilizer for my cymbidiums. Don't forget to replace the cap on everything. The fogger's turned on now so it's kind of a little bit foggy in here. If you watch any of my other videos you know that there's a fogging system in the greenhouse so hopefully that doesn't affect them us over on this side here. If you see a little bit of fog, that's why. So, now let's head out and give our cymbidiums a good fertilizing. Alright, so I'm going to give each one of these cymbidiums probably about a cup of fertilized water. I did water these earlier today so the media is still a little bit damp. You never want to fertilize an orchid that's bone dry. Uh, the orchid roots will just suck up too much of the salt and the orchid bark, believe it or not, actually sucks up quite a bit of salt as well. So I'll just go through and finish this off. Maybe a little bit of the water is trickling at the bottom, but not much. Alright, so there we go, start to finish. Um, that's how I quickly fertilize my cymbidiums. And remember this is the summertime regime, so in the wintertime we're going to switch up the fertilizer a little bit. But um, for now we use the 25-10-10. Anyways, I hope you learned something on this video. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.